Hey YouTube, it's been quite a while since I've uploaded here on my channel. A lot has happened from the last time that I uploaded a video here. I just want to say that I hope that you're all doing okay, that you're all staying safe and staying healthy during this time. I know the world is a little hectic right now. I'm just sending a lot of love and a lot of light to all of you guys. In today's video, what I want to do is I want to rearrange my furniture. If you've seen my office room tour, then you'd know what my room looked like. Um, that's pretty much how it's been looking since I uploaded that video. However, because I am creating all of my content from home now and it's been like that for a few months now, I want to rearrange it to where it's a little bit easier for me to create content when I'm in here. So I'm going to flip the camera around and show you guys the current situation and then kind of explain what I want to do. So this is what my room currently looks like. It is a mess because I was taking photos in here yesterday. So as you can see, my desk is not even aligned anymore. Normally it would go right here. But what happens is whenever I am trying to take photos on my camera, I set my tripod up right here usually so that I can get this background whenever I'm taking photos. Now what happens when this is right here is that it's in the frame all the time. It sits about right here. So what I want to do is I want to switch these two desks basically because this one is a lot longer than this one. So I'm going to put this one here and I'm not sure if I want to put this on this side or if I want to put it on this side. So that's pretty much what I'm going to figure out today. I'm also going to be cleaning it up a little bit because as you can see it is a mess. A lot of this clothes right here pretty much from here all the way to about here. I am going to be selling all of this on Poshmark and 30% of the proceeds from all the sales are going to be going towards a Black Lives Matter organization. So if you would like to check out my closet or shop some of the pieces on my Poshmark closet, I'll go ahead and leave it linked in the description down below so that way you can go check it out, browse it, and see if there's any pieces that you like and just know that whatever you are purchasing, you're also donating to a good cause. So I'll go ahead and leave that link to make sure that you check it out down below. I'm going to do a quick little pan here so that we can see a good before and then a good after. So yeah, I'm gonna set the camera up and let's get started. Okay, and here's my new camera, by the way. So I flip it out, oop, has a little screen right here. It's touch screen. It's just like the coolest camera. I've never had a camera this cool, honestly. It's, it's pretty amazing. Okay, I'm gonna just set up some tunes on my phone. Lately, I've really been obsessed with Lady Gaga's Chromatica album. So good, if you haven't heard it, highly recommend giving it a listen. So I'm going to play this, throw on some background music because I'll get copyrighted if I play this, and I'll get started on cleaning. <laughs> So I do like it better with the shorter one on this side rather than on this side because here I can access this little clothing rack. Now the test will be to see if I will get this table here in frame whenever I am taking photos over here. So I'm going to set up my tripod like I normally would if I were taking photos and I'm going to grab my phone because I do use my phone normally to take Instagram photos. I do want to start using this camera, I just haven't really figured it out entirely yet. Okay, so here's my phone set up where it would normally set it up and the desk does not appear to be in frame in the photo. So now let's test it out. It does work. The desk is not in frame. That corner is not in frame here whatsoever. So that's good. I think I am going to keep it like this. So now let me organize it and just put everything where it's supposed to go. So this is pretty much the progress that I've made so far. I removed a lot of the wires that were under there and hid them in the desk. On top of here, I'm going to keep it primarily empty. I do like to have it a little bit more empty so that I can work on my planner and work on my computer. Over here, I moved my makeup stuff because my makeup is in this drawer, so it'll be easy to be able to reach for these whenever I need it. My plant is gonna be there, and then these little decorative pieces, and then my journals. I try and journal in these every day or whenever I do remember. That's everything. Now I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm going to arrange that little stool and my waste bin in here. Alrighty, so here's the progress that I made. I went ahead and added the basket, the stool, and my chair. So my chair's gonna stay here, obviously, so that I can work 
and the basket I put it in the middle of the desk rather than having it right next to here just for a little bit more balance and um, this is gonna go in my closet and that's gonna go in my closet so that's not gonna be there but um, that's gonna stay I was also thinking about putting the waste basket right here but I feel like it's gonna cramp this area up too much and I feel like this is a lot and I don't feel like it needs anymore I brought these throw pillows to try and put them on here but they're way too big does not look good so now I'm going to put all of this clothes away here is a complete overview of what my room looks like now I like that it's tucked away in the corner because now it gives me all of this free space to be able to take photographs on the ground or not having any sort of obstruction in front of this shelf right here I was gonna put this back into my closet but I do like it here because I can take selfies I can move it around to any corner or any wall and um, take photos. Now I can move on to the next task. So my next task is to pretty much put away everything that I used, which is like the vacuum, trash. I need to take out all the trash from all around the house. And I also need to eat something because I haven't eaten anything all day and it's already like 5 p.m. I also wanna share with you guys something. So my husband, his dream was always to have like a gym in the house and now we were able to do that. So let me show you guys what it looks like. So this is our at-home gym. So everything that you see in here, we got for free. I'm talking about all the equipment. So this equipment right here used to be my parents and they had it outside, they didn't use it. So we were able to get it from them as well as this elliptical. It is a little rusty and it's uneven so we had to put some wood to stabilize it. This ab rocker, ab rocket. You use this to do some ab workouts and then over here I have a bin with yoga mats, a foam roller, and then this little piece that connects to down here. So you can do all sorts of workouts with that. And then the shelf I got from Ross years and years and years ago and I still have it. So it works perfectly to put the weights. Here I have ankle weights. What I use for my phone, a five pound ball and this is like a waist trimmer. So yeah, and then over here I just have some random decor that I had around the house that I wasn't using, so I just put it on here. For lunch, I think I'm gonna have something indulgent and bad, not necessarily something healthy, but I really have been craving like popcorn chicken. So I have some in the freezer and I think I'm gonna make that and probably just eat it with a side of chips. I know it's not healthy, it's literally what a kid would eat, but you know, sometimes you just have those days where you wanna eat bad food and I'm gonna eat bad food. He hates the camera, y'all. Anytime that he hears the camera go off, he'll stop whatever he's doing. He does not like it in the slightest. But this is Stuart. So if you guys saw my video whenever we first introduced him, his name was Lucky, but we changed his name to Stuart. Or more so, my husband changed the name to Stuart, and it kind of just stuck. So yeah, he has been with us since then and it's been pretty great he isn't neutered so the only issue really that we have with him is that he's extremely territorial so like he'll use the restroom all throughout the house okay not all throughout the house he has like a specific corner that he likes to go in and it's in this area right here but i've put this box here in hopes that he'll just use the bathroom on top of the box rather than on the carpet but he he's a little pooper that's what he does. He poops everywhere and that's just something that rabbits do when they mark their territory and because he's not neutered, that's just something that he's gonna do forever. I wanna neuter him, um, however, my husband is against it, but in the future, we'll see what happens. That's Bunny right here. He's doing pretty good. He's really long whiskers. <laughs> also, don't mind the rearrangement of the furniture. My husband wanted to move the recliner here so that he could play video games when it normally goes over here in that corner but it is what it is I don't really care I sit on there anyways when I'm here alone and I watch Carly and Aaron
outro here. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I know it was a little random and kind of a random start to come back into vlogging, but nonetheless, I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more videos from me and you're new here, then hit the subscribe button. Make sure that you turn on the bell notification. That way you can be notified every time I upload a brand new video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.